Okay, I'm here today in our office. It is Saturday and um, we're just building out our training room. And I turned off last night um, as we were finishing up a, a little section of this, I turned off our AccuClean air cleaner. We run that thing almost 24 seven. So we've pretty much always got somewhere in the neighborhood of 800 cubic feet per minute running through that machine, filtering the air in our entire office here. Um, and so we have this Dylos laser particle counter. This is a, a very well-known and widely used particle counter. And what this thing is measuring, I'll give a little visual representation, but basically it's measuring the amount of particulate in one one hundredth of a cubic foot, which is about that size right there. And the number on the left are particulate that is 0 0.5 microns or greater. And the number on the right is particulate that is 2.5 microns or greater within this one one hundredth of a cubic foot. So to put microns into perspective, um, these are very small particulate, uh, but the width of a human hair is roughly 70 microns. Um, a red blood cell is somewhere in the neighborhood of six to eight microns. So these are very, very small particulate that we're counting. But I will say, um, typically I see this number in our office here, I would say we're, we're less than 400. Um, and we've had this on rainy days, we've had this number as low as 150. Um, the number on the left is what I'm referring to. So that would be 150 particulates of uh, greater size than 0.5 microns within one one hundredth of a cubic foot. So it's been smoky. Um, we are heavy into wildfire season. And like I said, just perfect storm. I happen to remember that I forgot to turn this back on and I walked in here and we're reading 3,400 roughly of uh, particulate 0.5 microns or greater. And we're reading roughly roughly 50 fluctuating of particulate that's 2.5 microns or greater. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm gonna do two things. One, I'm gonna take this outside and get a measurement outside because we do, it's not as bad as it was yesterday, but we do have a lot of smoke in the air. But I'm also, going to let this machine run at 800 cubic feet per minute for, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and let it run for an hour and just see where we're at. And I will show you guys the results. So first I'm gonna start by taking this thing outside. Okay, we are outside and as you can see, our number is not super far off from where our uh, indoor air quality numbers are. The number on the right, which is, this is interesting, these are particulate that are 2.5 microns or greater, that has gone up. So um, that's pretty interesting. But we're gonna go ahead and take this inside and we're gonna let this thing run with our AccuClean air filter for one hour and see what happens. Here we are again, one hour later, this AccuClean has been running. Um, you can probably see on the indicator there, our light for our pre-filter is flashing and we are on, just barely on the orange bar there. And so we really, we haven't cleaned this in probably, I'm guessing at least a month, maybe two months. Um, and so this is not perfectly clean, but again, we've been moving 800 cubic feet per minute through this unit for one hour. Let's go see what our numbers are. So those are our numbers. So on uh, particulate 0.5 microns or larger, we've got that number down to around 500. And on the right there for the particulate of 2.5 microns or larger, we're floating between 10 and 20, it looks like. Looks like it just went up. This number, uh, honestly, this will go up as I walk on this carpet. So in fact, I'm gonna just kind of do this a little bit, stir some stuff up and let's see what this number does. It goes crazy because we're releasing all the fibers and the, the dust and debris from that carpet. Um, so this is, again, this is a laser particle counter. It's extremely sensitive, um, but you'll see just how much we've lowered those numbers in one hour 
with this AccuClean air filter running. Pretty incredible.